you all, it's Cindy. So what I'm doing for you today is I'm gonna do a waterfall pour. And I have several cups. And we're gonna see where I'm gonna go with this. I have a 12 ounce and I have all these nine ounces. So I'm gonna start layering my colors for you. And I think hmm, what I'm gonna start off with, I just want just a smidgen of the white for good measure. And then I'm going to go with, what is it? Cadmium yellow light. Put a little smidgen of that on top of there. And then from there, I'm gonna to go to the 24 karat gold. And from there, I believe I will go to the color shift green that I also have a little bit of the golden's um, green gold. Start pouring this in. And then from there, I'll go to, this is a uh, pearl pistachio. I'm gonna put that on top of there. And from there, I'm gonna go to the golden's turquoise thalo. And then I think I'll put a little bit of this, what is it, Prussian blue that I also have some Mars black in. I think since that's so dark, I'm going to follow it with a little bit of white. And then I think I will go to the metallic orange. Going, I'm making my layers thicker and thicker. Doo -doo -doo, yellow. What do we want to go with after that yellow? Let's add a little gold to that. And then from the gold, I'm going to go to the color shift. Those two just look so good together. That color shift, uh, green. It's green flash and 24 karat gold. They love each other. Turquoise. I'll throw in some white just for good measure. This is kind of like a dark denim, really. Okay, so there's my first cup. So give me just a second, we'll get to pouring. <laughs> so what I have is a 10 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas and I have push pinned and taped the back. And I wish, I kind of wish I'd already painted my edges, but I'll worry about that later. Um, but you may want to do that because it really does help in the long run. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take this 12 ounce cup and I'm going to prop my canvas up. Make sure you're still in screen. Now it's going to be up to you which you prefer. Some people will pour it this way. I like to pour it this way. I, I just, I think you can see it better. I like it coming out of the cup. Hmm. Let's pour into some white. I'm adding this so that the paint can slide better down the canvas. And then, don't 
don't be like me. Always wipe off your tools. <laughs> that way you don't have to worry about it later and have a huge giant mess. I'm really trying to get better about that. Okay, so here we go. And then I kind of shake it back and forth just to kind of layer it. And you want to watch your edges to make sure it's not all coming off anywhere. I really like the ribs I get doing this method. finish off with a little bit of a ring pour. Ta-da! So before it comes off that edge, I'm going to drop it down. Bring it back just a little bit. Now to add more interest, I'm going to add a couple, three or four little ring pours on my corners. I'm using the titanium white, the denim I made, and the turquoise. I'm going to water down the rest of my homemade denim and I'm going to use it as my flow extender. Remember, you want your flow extender thinner than your paints that you've got on your canvas. Now before I get to stretching this, I have got to bring you all in for a close up to let you see what I'm seeing. I love those ribs I've got going on and the color variations and the fingerlings. I think it's really going to stretch out so pretty. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just love it. Inspiration. That thought that as you're falling asleep you have to get up and write it down be it a technique or your color choices. I get these things from so many different places and many people and all of these ladies that are in this collaboration with me have inspired me one way or another. Pushed me, <laughs> made me reach for something different. Um, I get a lot of my color choices come from nature, animals, the ocean, Slugs. Have you seen ocean sea slugs? My God, they're beautiful. They also come from a lot, a lot of times fashion. Like what was in style? What was in style in the 70s? What colors were great in the 80s and 90s? I think about those things as well. For this pour, I got my inspiration from some falcons I saw out here uh, beside the road, um, they were lo looking out over a field and you could just see the backs of them and, and their feathers and shining in the sun. <laughs> but I want to thank you all for coming here and joining us in our little collaboration and thank these ladies with all my heart. I love them and I love all y'all. Now I'm going to put y'all on some music and let you enjoy the rest of this pour.
wish y'all a lot of peace, love, light, and laughter. And thanks for joining us. Love y'all. Bye-bye.